विंगार्डियम लिवियोसा Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be taking all of you to the magical world by reviewing the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Where's my book? Here it is. So let's start with the Harry Potter, the Philosopher's Stone. So as this is the first book in the Harry Potter series, we get to know about a hero that is Harry. In is one year of age and uh, his parents will be killed by a dark wizard named Voldemort and when Voldemort tries to kill Harry the curse reverses on him and he becomes very weak so Harry will be left with only a lightning shaped scar and nothing else and for that the first wizarding war will end and people will consider harry as a hero so then now harry has no one his parents have died so the professor that is professor dumbledore who is the headmaster of hogwarts at that time decides to leave harry with his uncle and aunt that is the dursleys because there are no other relatives left for him other than them but harry's life will be totally miserable for his first 10 years with the dursleys because they hate him so much for some past incident and they will be not taking care of him well but in his 10th birthday he starts to receive letters from hogwarts that is the school of witchcraft and wizardry and his aunt and uncle will be not leaving him to read the letter also they will be just burning them or tearing them but one final day Rubius Hagrid the gamekeeper at Hogwarts will come take Harry with him to Hogwarts and there begins Harry's journey to the wizarding world so during his first year that is in the book which we will see there are total seven books and in each book we will see each year of Harry's school life so in the first year he will make two of his best friends Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger so they will be very close with each other and you know that adventures what they make in the hogwarts and that hogwarts itself the subjects the teachers you know when you read about hogwarts you will feel that you want to go to hogwarts there is no other school in this world which is so better than hogwarts you know that's really really amazing school in the world and if you read the book no mainly what you will love is the hogwarts only because the everything you know what the games uh, that is the quidditch which is the sports of the wizards they play it on the broomstick and um, you know that's really amazing to read all of them and in this first book mainly it is concerned with the philosopher stone or the sorcerer stone which is owned by dumbledore one of dumbledore's friends and that stone's speciality is that whoever owns that stone is immortal that is they will not die only and now you know that is the reason why voldemort want this stone to be his you know he is already very weak and he he again want to become st strong and immortal so he will obviously get the desire to own the philosopher stone but will our harry manage to destroy the philosopher stone to know that read this amazing series of harry potter and i totally loved the first book a lot you know that um friendship between harry ron and hermione and also the quidditch game and hogwarts itself is very amazing to read and even the writing style of jk rowling you know she's the most famous author for that itself it's really really amazing and it's a narrate is a narrative structure so and it's the best book for beginners i i will like to tell because uh, you know it's just the first book so i don't think so the um uh, other books are be very beginner friendly but the first book is most probably beginner friendly so anyone who like to visit to the world of fantasy magical realism then definitely harry potter is the book for you 
and you know so many people actually recommend this book to everyone because it's the most famous one but still you should know why you should read this amazing book right so i hope you got the reason for that in this video and most people asked me like um, along with the review you just tell which part of the book is very nice to read as i already told you the quidditch game that uh, first um, you know in first year only harry gets selected to the quidditch team as the youngest player in the past 100 years and he will be a seeker that is there will be a ball called golden snitch which will be flying and the seeker has to catch it and if he catch it then the team will win so harry will be the seeker of his team and uh, you know that quidditch game itself is amazing to read in the whole series i want to say and one more thing which i forgot to tell you is in hogwarts there are four houses like our school houses only but it's you know our school houses are not at all amazing but you know harry potter houses the gryffindor hufflepuff ravenclaw and slytherin are really really amazing and harry ron and hermione will belong to the gryffindor house and they will really enjoy a lot you know they will have separate um, common rooms separate rooms for themselves so all together hogwarts is amazing and harry potter collection you know everyone who wish to read a book should definitely start with harry potter so i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel and for more harry potter reviews and other book reviews then you will have to press the bell icon to get all the notifications and comment it down below if you have any suggestions or what you felt about this video and i hope you liked this video so thank you so much for watching where is my chair akio chair here it is thank you guys